Alexa Bliss will soon say goodbye to WWE. This comes after Alexa Bliss was attacked by The Fiend at the end of a recent episode of Friday Night Smackdown. And many fans are wondering why this happened. But now the real reason has been revealed. Alexa Bliss recently had a secret backstage meeting with Vince McMahon, where she asked him for some time off from wrestling. Vince McMahon was not happy about Alexa's request, because she is one of the top stars in the company. But Vince McMahon reportedly granted her time off request, but they had to first find a way to write her off TV. Much like they recently wrote off Charlotte Flair and said she was injured, and they are doing the same sort of thing for Alexa. As the current plan is to say that Alexa was injured and traumatized by The Fiend, and will not be able to wrestle for several months. And Braun Strowman will seek vengeance for what The Fiend did to his friend Alexa at SummerSlam 2020. Alexa wanted time off because she wants to spend more time with her boyfriend, Ryan Cabrera. And she also wants to use this time to get married and possibly to get pregnant. Alexa will be off television until some time in 2021. The current Raw roster is very thin and lacking many big names like Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch, and many others who are all sitting on the sidelines. But there are new plans to make some big roster changes. Raw is also struggling in the TV ratings because of the lack of large crowds at their shows. But Vizek Mann is very aware of these issues on Raw and in the near future, Vince will be shaking things up again. WWE is planning to have a draft for all three brands, which will include Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. The draft is rumored to take place in October 2020, right before the 2020 Survivor Series show takes place. Vince's main focus of the upcoming draft will be to move big name wrestlers from SmackDown to Raw. It's currently unknown who those wrestlers will be, but some wrestling insiders have speculated that current Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Otis, could be one of the wrestlers who gets moved to the Raw brand this October. And if Otis does move to Raw, he'll bring the briefcase with him, and he will be allowed to cash in the briefcase on the WWE Champion, because Otis will be an official member of Monday Night Raw. Jeff Hardy is about to get a big push and be positioned as one of the biggest stars in WWE, and he will soon be fighting for a major title. AJ Styles won the Intercontinental title a few months back, and he has ran through every wrestler that he has faced. But very soon, AJ Styles will be facing somebody that he hasn't wrestled against in a very long time. Jeff Hardy just ended his long feud with Sheamus. Jeff defeated Sheamus in a bar fight on SmackDown, and Jeff is ready to move on to bigger and better things. Rumor has it that Jeff Hardy will be facing AJ Styles for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam 2020, which could lead to Jeff Hardy becoming the Intercontinental Champion. In recent months, all WWE pay-per-views have originated from the WWE Performance Center, but now a future WWE pay-per-view is rumored to take place at a different venue. Backstage plans recently leaked about Vince McMahon looking to hold SummerSlam at a different location instead of at the Performance Center. Vince is currently looking into holding SummerSlam on either a cruise ship or on a tropical beach, but fans will not be allowed to attend the event, no matter where it takes place. Instead, they will have NXT recruits in attendance just like they do currently. The reason for the possible change in location for SummerSlam is because Vince believes viewers are tired of seeing every show and pay-per-view take place at the Performance Center, and it's time for a change of venue, and having SummerSlam take place at a location that is related to summer, such as a cruise ship, the ocean, and the beach, would be a perfect fit for SummerSlam. The only problem has been trying to get permission from local officials. So it's possible 
that in order to pull off having SummerSlam at a different location, Vince might have to move it out of the United States and have it take place in international waters or on a beach in the Caribbean or Mexico. A big name WWE superstar is rumored to be leaving WWE very soon and join WWE's biggest rival, AEW, All Elite Wrestling. And if this does happen, it will shock the wrestling world. Roman Reigns has been gone from WWE for nearly five months, and Roman's fans have been waiting patiently for him to return to WWE. But because of the current worldwide situation, and also because of Roman's past health issues, he has no interest on taking a chance by returning to WWE and possibly affect his health. There are rumors going around that Roman Reigns' WWE contract has expired, and he is now in contact with Dean Ambrose, who now goes by the name John Moxley in AEW. And Roman has told Moxley that he is impressed with AEW's handling of the world situation, and Roman believes they are doing a much better job of handling it than WWE, and he would feel more safe and comfortable wrestling for AEW. This has led to Roman to start negotiating with AEW officials about possibly coming to AEW. If this rumor comes true, then AEW will have one of the biggest stars of pro wrestling on their television show every week. There are also backstage reports that claim that Vince McMahon was shocked when he heard the news about Roman Reigns negotiating with AEW because he thought that Roman would come back to WWE in the near future. We will have to wait and see if Roman does sign with AEW, but it's also possible that Roman is using AEW as a ploy to get Vince McMahon to resign him back to WWE for a much bigger money contract. What do you think about Roman Reigns going to AEW and Alexa Bliss taking time off? Leave a comment and give me your opinion. And also, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to click the bell notification so you are notified when we release our next video.